I'm Danielle Hale, Chief Economist for Realtor.com, and here are this week's things you need to know. The monthly jobs report showed that businesses continue to hire and the unemployment rate dipped as a result. In addition to government hiring for the census, jobs were added in the retail trade, professional and business services, leisure and hospitality, and education and health services sectors. Additionally, the more recent weekly jobless claims indicator improved to its lowest post-pandemic level yet. The improvement is good, but the indicator is still three to four times a normal level. Elevated jobless claims and rising payroll jobs reflect the massive churn in the labor market as companies and individuals attempt to adjust to enormous changes in the way we live and do business in the wake of the coronavirus and economic recession. Mortgage rates ticked up slightly this week, but remain well below 3%. With little change in mortgage rates, we saw applications for home purchase mortgages stay essentially flat from last week. However, low rates are still giving a substantial boost to purchase mortgage activity compared to this time last year. Our August Housing Trends Report was released this week, and the data shows that while mortgage rates are buyer-friendly, there are other challenges to contend with. Home prices rose a hefty 10% as inventory dipped, resulting in nearly half a million fewer homes for sale in August than the same time last year. It's difficult to imagine that the housing market will be able to sustain the frenzied demand we are currently experiencing, but we have yet to see any signs of slowing. Buyer traffic on Realtor.com is outpacing the record levels we saw earlier this year, suggesting that demand will likely continue to exceed the number of homes available for sale. While demand is much more intense than it normally is this late into a home buying season, the typical home asking price has likely peaked for the year at $350,000 in August. Still, sellers will remain in the driver's seat for the foreseeable future, and buyers should be prepared. Find more details and data for download at realtor.com research, or follow us on Twitter for real-time updates. Have a question about the economy or housing market you want answered? Ask away.